Aloha, Claire Maxwell here with the Alexander Technique. This week's video is about a really simple, gentle way that you can release your own jaw tension simply through um, understanding the structure of the nerves that supply the skin of your face. <laughs> So uh, this is my trusty assistant, Pumpkin. We'll see how it works out with her. So I'm going to show you this picture that shows you the three branches of the nerves that supply the skin of your face. Very high tech here. This is your trigeminal nerve. And as you will notice, there are three separate branches of it. Now your skin is an amazing organ. It's all one organ, it covers your whole body, and it's incredibly sensitive, so it has a lot of nerve supply. I have not fed her, that's why she's doing this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your own fingers to touch each one of those um, separate areas of skin, because what they do is they separate the different functions of your face. So you're going to start with the first one, which is for the jaw, and just really lightly touching the skin of your jaw. So it covers from the bone, the jaw, bottom of the jaw bone, to your lower lip, and then it goes up the side of your face like this, and you can touch this little flap of skin next to your ear and it goes all the way up the side of your head. So up to the temple bones where your big jaw muscles are connected. And so you can just drape down and brush this skin. And maybe it will encourage your jaw to just open. And if you let your jaw open, you'll notice if you move your head a little bit that your jaw it, it kind of slides around a little bit if you're not keeping it really tightly uh, gripped to your skull. The next one is your upper lip. So if you had a mustache, your upper lip and your, it covers the skin of your teeth underneath your nose and it goes all the way up the side of your cheeks and covers your cheekbones and your lower eyelid and right up the side of your eye socket so you can kind of gently feel the side of your um, eye socket here, your skull bone. And it's the skin that feels the air coming in through your nose. So you can just ask for ease in this area of your face and feel the air coming in to the skin inside your nose and ask for ease there. And then the last branch of this nerve, this amazing nerve that covers so much of your head, it covers the tip of your nose. So the very tip of your nose and then up in a stripe kind of to the back of your skull. And this is a wonderful um, place that sometimes when we're trying to comfort one another, you know, your mom might touch you there or you might rest your forehead. So um, one way to just encourage your jaw to hang is to let the weight of your head go over. And you can even begin a movement by just touching your nose. And just that stimulation can bring a release of the whole head and just let your jaw hang. And then if you're feeling like you really need a break, you're having a hard day at work or something, you can actually just rest your head on your desk like this. It's the same movement and you can just give a little brush, let your jaw hang and just a 
rest your head <laughs> on your desk. And hopefully your, your fellow workers won't think that you're too sad or upset or something. It's just a nice stretch. So that's it. It feels good and it will release your jaw. Peace and love.